Hello there, my name is Mr. Smartonky. Welcome back to my play of Renowned Explorers International Society. So last time we were in Shangri-La, but we weren't able to manage to finish the expedition, I guess. We got our ass handed to us, in all honesty. So it's time to start a new expedition. Uh, actually, hold on. I assume that that means, like, if I continue, where does that continue me off? Because I... Uh, I, I, I don't want to... Oh, right, that's back here. Right, because that's when we died. Okay. So I assume if I were to... Uh, start a new game, it means that I just... I, I have all the stuff that I already got. I, I imagine that's what happens. Anyway. So we now have, obviously, got a few more options as our team captains. We can do... Or use either Maria or Amelia. Or we can just use the people that we haven't used before, like Harry Walker. Anna. Let's just, let's just go with Anna. Um, or Yvonne Lefebvre, but I think I want to go with Amelia. I really like Amelia um, Even though she filled like a lot of things for me. She's quite good um, She apparently is is well suited to go with Pedrinho and Maria I don't want to go from Ma with Maria again because that just seems kind of pointless Let's have a look at her details. I assume yeah, she's back to level one and yeah She doesn't have any of her gear that we had before that makes sense and I, I, I like that but I assume the research we had we keep um Anyway, her also her bonus is that we start ex each expedition with uh, a tool, which is good. We start with three tools if we uh, keep our um, uh, our bonuses, our research bonuses. And, and if we start with three, that'd be insane. Um, and we get plus one study whenever we enter an area with a nature challenge. Um, I can quickly have a look at the other people as well. Actually, the people that we unlocked from Maria. She gets plus 50% status from encounter. Oh, that's not bad. But we'll go for Amelia. Um, and then I do want to have one of these people. Well, Padrino is actually one of them, so that would make sense. So we're going to go with Padrino. Well, I think we'll go with Padrino. We'll have a look at him. So he's um, exceptionally well in a friendly crew. Looks like we're going friendly again. He's got two survivalists. Okay. Um, he's got regular attack. He's got trial and rage. And he's got excite. I, I do like excite. Um, I guess I, I mean, I can have a look at all this other stuff as well. But let's not, let's not go too crazy in that. He has 40 spirit. Decent speech. Uh, he's got high grit. Okay, and he's got more movement, I think, than Amelia as well. Yeah, she's got three. He's got five. Okay. So I don't know exactly how well scouts are going to do. And then her other good teammate is Maria, and I assume it's the same for him. Yeah, but we're not going to go with Maria again. But we'll probably go with a different... Uh, I think I wanted to go with Kwama last time. Or I was thinking about going for him anyway. He's a diplomat. 40 spirit, 29 speech, 30 speech defense... No armor, like zero. I don't know about... Oh, crap. I didn't want to actually replace this guy. Um, actually, let me quickly check how much armor this guy's got. Five. And Amelia has got 15. Maybe I do want to go for another one of these guys, though. Um, aggressive. Let's see if there's anyone who's good in... I guess these are all like good in aggressive or friendly crew, but we already have had Victor, so I don't want to go for that. Oh, man. If you go for that, this like lights up crazy. Like, super friendly. Same with Bia, apparently, or Baya, or whatever her name is. She's a tactician. She, uh, let's see what else she's got. She's a glass cannon fighter. She's got 27 armor, 36 AP. Okay, she would do quite a bit of damage. Impress. Uh, she's got Terrify. And a regular attack, of course. So she's better at Devious, then. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm still not 100% sure on what, like, combinations would be great. Um, but this this seems all right. Um, I kind of well, I do like speakers as well. But I mean, we've got him. He's got decent speaking. She's got decent sp or speech, I guess. I guess we can quickly compare to yeah. She's got twenty nine. How much health has she got? Forty. How much health has she got? Maybe that's why thirty five. That's a f small amount of health. Kwama, Kwame. He's got forty health, twenty nine speech. Charles Templeton, twenty three. Oh, he's a very good all-round character. I might go with him. He seems pretty decent. He's got try to impress. He's got terrify and he's got regular attack. So his devi or devious is better as well. Um, he's got cooking. We already have survivalists though, so that's pretty pointless. Let's go with Kwame. Oh, he just seems so much worse though. I'm so confused. She she looks all right as well actually. Um, she is, like, super friendly. Like, the friendliest of all. Yeah, even more so than... Oh my god, look at that. 
Uh, she's Diplomat too. We don't have that yet, I don't think. So she has try, and ter try to terrify, impress. Minus 25 speech defense. Oh, I like that. End of attack. It's range 2 tiles. She has a attack that's a range. That's pretty cool. And she's got good stats. She just doesn't have any armor, but I think I like her. Austria Magician. She's 14. Oh my god, okay. Taking some 14-year-old kid on expeditions. This sounds very ominous. Um, right, so we've got Archaeologist, Naturalist, Survivalist, and Diplomat. Sounds good. And we're extremely friendly. Like, we should just be able to destroy everyone with friendliness. We're gonna hawk the shit out of everyone. As we start our first expedition with a 14-year-old small girl and a big black dude. <laughs> this is it. You just got your renowned explorer the International Society membership. Amelia wants to make a big entrance and goes for an elusive treasure, a Viking ship. Rumors are that... Yeah, okay. We... we um, well, actually, we want to read this. Rumors are that the boat belonged to the famous explorer Leif Erikson is somewhere on this forgotten island. I, see, I think I'm, I know that name. Leif Erikson. Anyway, we already know how the game works, obviously. Look at that. Okay, so we've got seven. Everyone's a bit, a little bit nervous. First expedition, yes, we know how resolve works. Okay, so we can go for a cultural challenge. Was anyone good at culture? I don't think so. No. It's gonna go for the something odd and the trader. Enter a shop that sells supplies for some work. Buy four supplies for seven result. What the? Why would anyone ever do that? That seems terrible. Negotiate for better terms. Uh, this is simply unacceptable. The guy seems like a tough match, and a diplomatic struggle will give the diplomat negotiations perk. Who will go and negotiate? Oh, um, well, I guess she is already our diplomat, so maybe we don't want her to have it. Crap, I wish I could see what level diplomat she would be at, because negotiations, I'm not sure what level that is. Um, but I guess it's sort of pointless to have it on someone else as well, so let's just go for her, and hopefully she doesn't already have this. Um, okay, so now we- oh, right, that's why his prices were ridiculous. Well, we can buy four for one, I'm obviously not going to do that. Okay, so does she get any- oh, yes, she did. Okay, so now she's got level three diplomat. That's crazy good. Um, and then we can even make this into level four. So we're going to be the best diplomat ever, that's for sure. All right, so we can go for a witch challenge, another witch challenge, or some status. Uh, I don't think anyone's really good at wits, but... Tactician, the guy. Actually, we do have a tactician, don't we? Oh no, we, we were going to go with someone who was a tactician, but we decided not to. I'm gonna go this way instead. Oh man, this just there's not a whole lot to do here. The crew is walking through a seemingly boring landscape. Suddenly, Pedrinho finds a small piece of iron. It looks like a broken Viking sword. The crew starts investigating the area to see if there's more. It's an ancient Viking battlefield. Amelia imagines a wondrous treasure that is to be found here, not to speak of the fame of waiting for such a prestigious discovery. Amelia ponders what to do next. Start looking for treasure. The crew goes on and starts looking around like true explorers. After 40 minutes or so of investigation, Amelia found something. Ooh. Nice, we're gonna get something regardless. Shield. I think that was the most likely one to get, but... Level 2 athlete gains plus 5 armor. Alright. It seems very racist, but I feel like he should be an athlete. <laughs> That's a good find. The fine treasure to take home. There's a battlefield fully stripped of its secrets. The crew can continue. What an amazing day to be a renowned explorer. Sadly, we got the uh, most likely one to get. Okay, so let's think about this. There's more stuff over there. There's more stuff down this way as well. Because um, we've still got five left, but I don't really want to go back there and then waste like moving on that. So I think we'll go for this one, and hopefully there's one something like in one of these areas. And I can always go here and then go down here, and oh, we'll, we'll see. See what unlocks here anyway. You descend the hill and walk past the magnificent grave. You read the stone. Here lies Bjorn Wolf of Mercia, King of Mercia. Under his reign, the Abbey of St. Peter was rebuilt. Bjorn Wolf met his end at the hands of, the, of King Egbert's army in 826 AD. May St. Peter watch over his soul. The grave of an old king, always an honor. We got two campaign tokens. We are going freeze on the campaign tokens so far. Uh, all right, so we can go for some research, or we can go for this and potentially more. I don't know if I want to go into two encounters right now. I think I might go for this one and then hope there's something else there. We got four left, so one, two, possibly three, four, something there, yeah, um, or one, two, three, four. I guess this is more of a gamble if we go here first. This is more guaranteed, but. I'll go here anyway. I'm willing to take the gamble. 
Some cuddly sheep are fond of the crew and start surround keep surrounding you. It makes it hard to move and you have to do something. Engage! Get fucked, sheep. Oh, right, we can actually tell if we've already if we have all of our stuff unlocked from last time. Okay, if we go friendly, that'll be good. If we have all of our stuff from fr last time, I guess we don't, unless we get it after this encounter, because then, then we would have the plus 10 bonus on everything. But we don't. Oh my god, look at this movement. We don't have any particularly good tanks right now, though, although that didn't seem to really do much anyway, because enemies can just go around you and attack whoever, so I think it's just generally a good idea to just go for people who have high health. Anyway, so we want to do this friendly. That's good, because we are insane at being friendly. Okay, we've got excites and impress. Um, alright, this, this should be a fairly simple battle, to be fair, so let's get you over here. Start hammering down on this sheep right here. E Macarena. Alright, we have physical attacks plus 50%. That's very good. Yours is two range, alright, so you're gonna go here and use that on that fella right there. Ta da! Okay, and Amelia. You're gonna walk up to this fellow right here and excite the hell out of this sheep. Yahoo! Exciting, right, sheep? Very exciting. Alright. Let's see what these sheep can do. Let's see how good they can make me feel. Oh my god, that's a beautiful flower sheep. You've got that right. Oh, he loves me. Thank you, sheepy. Sheep? Um. Cheap movement. This character can move more easily in difficult terrain. Oh, okay. I didn't even realize there was such a thing as difficult terrain in this game. Man, he loves it. That sheep is all about the Macarena. Alright, you finish him off. Yoohoo! Right, we were super friendly. You get an extra token. You get three encounter tokens, and she gets five speech defense and plus two speech power. You're a true fan of the animals, so sheep follow you, but Virginia teaches them not to get in the way. Virginia even gives the cutest sheep a name, Wooly Amelia. Ah. Okay, alright, let's go here. Because we've still got plenty of stuff. There's like even some research there, perfect. Normally you wouldn't be so excited about this, but you found an abandoned farm. Oh, we get to restock our supplies. The fields are overgrown with vegetables and even some fruits. Three supplies, okay, I guess we're going for a little longer then. Let's go to for this. On your way to find the Viking longboat, the crew comes across a runestone. It's not saying it's not a particularly impressive or well preserved one, but it's worth, still worth studying. To study. Sweet. Well, I mean, since we've got this much stuff now, let's go for this cultural challenge, which I don't think we've got many people for, but. Fabulous, an account of a wealthy Icelandic trader. You engage in an intelligent debate at this mansion about the Vikings that once sailed to say the seas. The trader's amused and offers you some gold. Uh, because she is a level 1 diplomat. She's actually level 3, so yeah, I'll take that. She convinces him. Sweet. Uh, Alright, so we got three left, so we could do one, two... No, we can't do that. That's annoying. So we're probably going to just have to waste some... Because I could do one, two, three, but then this would be four, and then we lose stats, and we don't want to lose stats. So I'll just go for this. A scout in the area, a good looking man comes running up to you. Are you by chance renowned explorers? You see, I'm kind of a big guy, a big deal here, and I would love to travel with them and be part of their entourage. You know, to see the world. Well, yes, we are the renowned explorers, and we could surely use you on board. The man is very happy. I can't wait. I promise to make your campaigns more effective. He, the rush, the rushes to your airship. A strange figure, but you're sure he'll come in useful. Oh, he joins my entourage. Oh, sweet. Okay. Um. So yeah, essentially, if we had gone for this one first, it would have paid off. Except for the fact that I wasn't aware, obviously, that we were going to get more supplies. So we just waste one supply. It's not really a big deal. The Viking boat must be nearby. Once you get there, this expedition will come to an end, of course. Let's go. Crew searches the hills and dales thoroughly until you until you're spotted in the distance. An intact Viking boat. The crew rushes, rushes toward this amazing find. It will surely skyrocket your reputation at the renowned explorers. But wait! Here's Rivalo! The French explorer, number one in the most promising explorer's rankings. He laughs. Thank you, amateur. How very lucky for you to find this Viking boat just after me. Uh, we need to help each other out. Yada yada, same as before. This is my treasure. <laughs> this is my treasure. Maybe you should talk to my most intelligent and diplomatic scientist, Lady Cassandra Shafiq. Oh, we get to fight her now. I'm positive that she'll handle the situation with utmost respect while I take the vessel. Hey, wait a minute. 
Before Amelia can stop Rivaloy's crew scientist Cassandra steps forward. Hello, fellow renowned explorers. So why such a hurry, no? Let's discuss this matter at an easy, civilized pace, yes? She's not letting you pass. Well, it's time to murder. With words and friendliness. Feed the boss. Alright, if we go aggressive, she thinks we're a brute. If we go devious, she appreciates that uh, that you don't resort, retort, resort to violence. Or if we go friendly, she's pleased with my diplomatic approach. Right, well, that's generally what we want to do anyway, so. Okay, let's friend it up. Um, no, I could just send him over there and start hitting on this lady right away. Might not even be a bad idea. Have these guys take care of these two, and then we can start working on her right away. Um, I'll, I'll, actually, I'll go over here and get rid of this guy. That's an even better idea, I think. Look at the friendliness. Ho ho! I actually should check. Oh, yeah, she's friendly as well, so we got physical attack buff, right. Uh, okay, you can both reach where you want to go. Ta-da! Ta wow. wow! He's impressed by me. Oh, he would be. Alright. And I think we're just gonna nuke her down after this. Might be possible to do it in one or two turns. These early, early um, fights should be alright. To take down the boss fairly quickly. If she doesn't run away too far. Nope, she doesn't. Don't kill me. Okay. Whoa. No, don't... Don't nuke her down, though. Yo, buddy. Alright, we'll see how much damage we can do. Because we might want to actually... Get rid of this guy as well. Let's see, how much damage would you do on your own? That's a fair bit. Uh, you've got range on yours, don't you? Yeah, so you can see. Eh, it's not too much. That's a lot better, actually, because we have 50% physical. If we get for that, though, we would get speech defense. I really don't want to lose, like, one thing right now. I could definitely move her over here so these guys couldn't be able to reach her anymore, and that's probably a good idea no matter what. Who's got the highest physical attack, though? Everyone's got exactly 20. That's interesting. Um... Alright, we might be able to kill her, but I'm not sure. You would have to... Shit, you can't even go... Uh, I guess I can move her here. That would be fine as well. And then I guess I can still kill him if I re realize I, c I don't have enough damage. Yep, okay, that seems like it would be the right thing to do. Let's do that. You're going there, so you're going here. Alright, let's see what you can do. So, that's about... I don't... I think we're just not going to be able to kill her in one hit. No, so we're gonna have to take care of this guy. And then she might still die, actually. I didn't actually think about that. Um, but, I mean, we have a higher chance of surviving if we go for him, at least. I might even be able to heal with him. If I move him here, I can heal her for... Not much, but... It might just be enough. Let's do that. It, it means we can survive one more turn, I guess. And if we get one attack off on her, then that's good. Um, so you're going to do this on him. Yeah, okay, and then we're gonna do one aggressive attack on her. So we go to uh, aggressive and then we get bloodlust. And then we get defense. And it also means if we get this one attack off, it means we might be able to, or we should be able to kill her next turn. I hope these guys can't actually reach me, I didn't check. Oh, he can actually reach her. He won't be able to, but... If he goes for her, that could be problematic if she also does the same. Well, I guess we'll find out. Oh, crap, AoE. Can't say I was expecting that, and he is going for her, and she's probably dead. No, she survived that, oh my god. Okay, that is very lucky, I could have lost one easily here. He fumbled, perfect. Okay, so... Um, right, well, we, we should be able to just finish her now. Let's just make sure we can get where we need to be. Yeah, we should be able to. She can go there. Right. Oh my god, where did that damage come from? Oh, I guess she, she got buffed by her attack. Probably. Uh, no, I don't know. Well, you can get the finishing blow, because you're tanking everything. 
Ta-da! Alright, and we ended up being friendly as well, perfect. Two encounter tokens, and she's pleased with my diplomatic approach. We got tons of speech defense and four speech power, but this is gonna go away right away, so it doesn't actually do anything. She's really pleasant with your approach. Oh my, I haven't seen such well-mannered rookies in a while, yes. I'll be rooting for your success. Oh, everyone leveled up. Please have this treasure map, yes? It's a small thing, but you might be able to use it. Goodbye, kind explorers. Two campaign, and we permanently gain one speech. Not bad. You're left with a cryptic treasure map. Its meaning is pretty cryptic. Well, yes, if it's a cryptic treasure map, then I would assume that it's quite cryptic. We all take a look. The treasure map is passed around. After investigating, the crew starts states their interpretations of the treasure map. Points to another Viking antiquity site nearby. Points to a difficult to reach area or a landmark landmark on the map that locals might recognize. Um, that makes sense, doesn't it? Let's do that. Hildegard thinks it's nonsense not to use the knowledge of the locals, and goes smoozing with them. The campaign quickly re yields results. Not only is your cause much supported, but by stringing the stories together, you infer the location of the hidden treasure. Fantastic! We're getting dragon head. Nice one. Uh, it's 25. Plus one campaign whenever level 2 archaeologist succeeds on the adventure wheel. Nice, because she she's an archaeologist, I think. And five study, not bad. Don't mind if I do. With this last find, your expedition still concludes on a high note. However, it will be clear that if you want to be the notion explorer, you have to beat Rivello. And now it's personal. Back to London. Friendly. I mean, we didn't get too much renown from that, but... I would have to check my first episode again just to see how much I got after that. But I think it was probably pretty close to 121. Alright, let's continue. Exotic location uncovered in the high Icelandic Isles by promising explorer Emilia Karwalski. Wow! Explorer Society board members are excited at the progress of this dashing diplomat. Cool. Let's uh, close that. I made some job. The board of the Renowned Explorers International Society is impressed by your exploration skills in the Highlands. For this achievement, Chairman Pinkerton gives you an upgrade to your airship, which will allow you more supplies. The upgrade badge, which also gives us 50 renowns. Sweet. And free extra supplies. Of course. Pinkerton tells you, we're pleased that you're aiming to become the number one explorer. However, I wonder if you can beat the already... We already know all this. You have four more to do it, I'm aware. You gather your thoughts to determine your course of action. Yes, okay. Right, so now... Yes, okay, thanks. Let's check this real quick. Okay, so you don't save this, so I'm wondering... Man, that's a shame, actually. I was really I was really expecting that you would, to be fair. Because now I'm thinking, like, is there any, like... Oh, and it's the same ones as well. It's not like we unlocked anything else, did we? No. So now I'm wondering, like, playing it again, like, how is it going to make it any easier? Except for the fact that you unlock new advent or new people that can be captain, but that doesn't necessarily... That, that's not necessarily anything particularly good or anything. So I'm not sure. Um... Either way, complete your expedition to unlock this category, right? I think I want to go for this one. Gain plus two study when doing a job with insight on the world map. Um, or plus four to six research from encounter tokens. Let's go with that. I'll actually do it this episode since we have, or we finish it fairly fast. So one extra two, or one extra insight every time you finish an expedition. One extra insight essentially means a bunch more study. Um, but an extra tool is quite useful as well, though. F succeeding more on the map. That's pretty useful. Uh, we can actually... No, we can't get both. We might be able to get both. Um, we're going to unlock this as well. Let's see if we can unlock both, because we've got some jobs. We get three from her, four from her. Yeah, okay, so let's get some of them. Uh, I think we need... No, we can, we can get both now. Okay, let's see what we get from these ones. Two only. And two. Alright, I'm not too bothered about that. So I'm probably going to hold off on using any more. But we can actually get both of them. Or I can get this one and another one here. Gain two supplies, supply capacity. That's pretty good as well. Definitely going to get that right now. So yeah, cost 30, we have 31. I don't think I can get another one though. Like, I'd have to, I'd have to get an extra 40 research with the two tokens. It's possible, but it's unlikely. Um, so one extra insight every time you finish an expedition. We would definitely want to get, if we're going to get it, we have to get it now. One extra insight, it essentially means, like, 
It, it means about tw 20 more research every time we finish an expedition, but we essentially only get to use it three times, because after, after the fifth one, I assume it's done, and we already done one. So we got three extra inside if we go for this. Thing is, we want to probably finish it anyway, so... Gain one extra token from each job where you spend inside on the world map. Uh, when are we going to finish this, though? It's not going to be that fast, is it? Or I can get an extra bunch of research from encounter tokens, but encounter tokens... Oh, they only give those things, so I guess if I if I get this, it will unlock me to be able to get research as well. I see. Um, we already have one extra tool, I guess we don't need two. Let's go for this one, sure, why not? Okay. Let's get the level ups done as well, so we can make her a level 4 diplomat or get her naturalist, but I think he... We've already got... Yeah, she's a naturalist. So let's make her an awesome diplomat, which also gives her one speech and two defense. This gives her just free defense. And we also get cheer. Which is uh, uncertain. It's good damage. Two tiles. Free turn cooldown. Target becomes excited if it is positive, giving it plus 25% speech. Heals an ally and makes them significantly more positive. Okay. So it's, it's essentially something I would use on my teammates. I mean, it's still 100% damage, so... If I attack, I can attack someone with it and probably kill them as well in case, but this, the thing is this one is 100% as well, so I, this would never be better, I don't think. So this is just a pretty good buff. The thing is, this is, uh, no, not this one, but the other one that we use, um, Excite, is the same buff, essentially, 25% speech, except the other one gives us more of a positive thing. Anyway, I can make him a level 3 survivalist, or I can give him Beguiler, a beautiful smile. Two speech and one grit, or three grits. I gotta say, I do like this more, but I also feel like I should just go for improve your chance of finding supplies of resolve. I didn't even realize that was actually a thing. Um, I do like survival. Maybe I should go. Yeah, I don't know. Junior case plus six, six speech while your current attitude is devious. That's not gonna happen. Plus one collect when solving a battle friendly. That's probably better. Um, I don't know. Beguiler. If you don't have anything in the Beguiler, like, because that's like Beguiler, a tactician, those sort of skills work together, and I don't have anything in that, I don't think, so it might be useful going for that. But I also like... Nah, fuck it. I'm going for that. Okay, and then you are going to get Archaeologist or Naturalist. I think we're going to go for Archaeologist, although I don't know if that really worked out too much last time, but I'm going to go for that. And you unlock Tranquility, which is awesome. Because it's just an amazing heal. I really like that ability. It's so good. Um, and you got party time. I didn't even read this. It's 75%. That's not great. Target becomes excited if it is positive, giving it plus 25% speech. That's the same buff as we already have, essentially. And has an increase of plus 20% speech per surrounding enemy. It's an area of effect. Oh! Ability has reduced aggro. Oh, that's, that's very interesting, actually. Okay, so this is an AoE 75% speech. That's pretty good, actually. That's a lot of damage. Um, has an increase of plus 25 speech per surrounding enemy. I guess that's the downside, is I would make a whole lot of enemies... I would give a whole lot of enemies plus 45% speech, so this, this has to be like a finishing move or something, I don't know. It seems pretty alright, but... Anyway, we've got a whole bunch of status, so let's get some entourage going. Um, status, gold, research... I feel like this is always the most logical thing. Because, um, like, the more status you get, the more upgrades you can get. So, like, I don't know, it makes sense to me. Uh, one extra collect if you resolve an encounter friendly. One campaign if you resolve an encounter devious. Or one study when you encounter devious. I probably want to go for the collect one. Not my favorite thing, but although I have realized that gold is quite important. So I'll go for that as well. And then let's have a look at this little store here and see if there's anything here for us that we need right now. Um, everyone here uses books and rings, okay. Plus 10 speech defense or plus 1. Free speech power and 1. Yeah, it's not really worth going for right now, I don't think. Boots. Oh, I thought he would use boots, but he doesn't. Because he's like, yeah, he's a scout, right? Scouts only. Could have sworn he was a scout, but maybe not. Yeah, he remembers a scout. Well, there you go. I guess he's different than the rest. I don't know. Maybe I can give it to him anyway, but I don't really want to try that right now, because I don't want this. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't think any of these are good enough to buy right now, so let's hold off on that as well. Save our money for now. 
Okay, so we've got two more inside tokens left, which I could spend. Get a whole bunch more. I guess I could... Um, yeah, let's just go for it. Because I might get enough. 19, 21 from this. Oh my god, perfect. Alright, that means I can get one more research. That's good. So I can get an extra two supplies. Uh, I forgot about that. I could have gotten this first. And then I would have not have spent so much status. I'm not too bothered though. But for now I'm not going to get it. So I'll get something that's going to immediately help us. Like the supplies or explorers toolkit. We already have two extra tool or two tools. So let's go for the extra two supplies. That sounds like a pretty good deal. Alright. And I think that's where I'll leave it. Uh, last time by the way we went to the Caribbean island. We Yeah. So we're not going to go there this time. We're going to go to Hungarian, Hungarian fort. Um, Devious is apparently the best here. And aggressive is the best here, so neither one of those is us, so we, we'll probably just go for this one. Because we've already done that. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed. Um, and I will see you next time for the second expedition of this campaign. Until then, have a good day and goodbye.